Anyway, this demo contains light flashes. Roughly 1 in 4,000 may have seizures or blackouts triggered by light flashes or patterns, even if they have never had a seizure before. Oh dear, let's hope we're not one of them or none of you guys are one of them. But anyways, if for anyone who is interested, there you go. Please be advised. Oh, look away! And it's uh, age 13 and up, yeah. Yep. Blood, mild violence, intense situations, suggested language, and adult themes. Oh my. Oh my. Hello everybody and welcome to a new demo let's play! Hey! Of this game called Beauty and the War X Playing Pieces. Oh my gosh. So this game was suggested to me through a uh, Tumblr message. So yeah, uh, this is I have never heard of this game before. But the creator, which is Poison Apple's um, company, uh, uh, messaged me and asked me to do a let's play on this demo or and slash review it. So yeah, here I am. I'm gonna do it because you know if you ask, and I will do so. If you know the game interests me enough, and yeah, it seems interesting enough. It's on. I've linked you guys description below of the game site. It's on the each. It's on Ichio. Like, um, what's it called? That that yeah, that game site, whatever the hell. So yeah. So basically, from the page for from the synopsis, is that the game is about, you know, an island of legends and fairy tales, and I we are a phoenix. You you are phoenix apparently. I am yes, I am phoenix, a healer of peace and blood. But can you mend the uh, the age old scars of war, especially when you are desire you? Oh, sa uh, uh, grammar and spelling errors. Oh. Uh, especially when you're a desire with a hair as dark as the raven's wings and skin as white as snow. So we're like, no way. Your choices will determine the reign of Virgo Island. Okay, so there's that. We are set in a fairy tale fantasy island world where there is, a, I guess, a war that's going on. Civil war? I'm not too sure. Anyways, so apparently the game features, you know, two, one to two hours of gameplay, even though it's a demo. Uh, there's, um, Five romantic interests. This is a indeed a ultimate visual novel game, as I am so well known to like you know be be known to be playing these things now. But yeah, so will you? And then it further continues on to say, will you remain loyal to your guardians, the mysterious clan of Vi or yeah Vi, who now rule with an iron fist, or will you side with the, with the conquered who are once hunted you without mercy? Um, there are the hunter, beautiful yet devious creatures. Then there's the Imigi. Imugi? Am I saying that right? Your child's a friend among them and many more clans you may recognize from ancient myths. I I don't know. I don't know how well versed like I know myths, but I don't know if I'm well versed enough in myths to like recognize people. But anyways, make alliances, uncover murder plots, fall in love. Just remember that like, the men here have gone to war because of a woman. Oh, so we're like we're like Helen of Troy. Okay, anyways, whatever. There's that. That's a synopsis for any of you guys who are just too lazy to check it out for yourself. But anyways, here we go, let's begin. We are for you. We are for you. You are for me. Okay, that's great. Those who are the those were the words were told we told the Phoenix uh, clan whom we served. Okay. Uh, yes. So we used to, we're part of the Phoenix clan apparently. Oh my gosh, this music. Phoenix clan, cool. When they first came to us, they had only one request, and that is to what? Can I? I'm sorry, guys. I already turned the music down like halfway, but I feel like it's really loud. Anyway. Sorry. Anyways, continuing the story. Yes, Phoenix Clan. Protect us. Okay. Uh, at the time, the Phoenix Clan was under attack from the trolled. Trolled? Really? Trolled? Oh. Oh my. <laughs> what a lovely bunch of people. Trolled Clan. Okay. A clan of barbaric savages. Oh, okay. Uh, however, their speed belied their powerful build. Whoa, okay. Uh, they were as fast as hurricanes. That's great. Their agility was their natural born ability. Okay. Much like how tigers could see in the dark and how owls had wings to fly, the trolls were born to run faster than the wind. <laughs> so they be ninjas. In a duel, I have no doubt they were no match for my, for my men or myself. Are we in the point of view of the, the main heroine? However, we who call ourselves the clan of the Vi lack the necessary forces to deal with their number. Okay, so, alright. So are we part of the, cl the Vi clan? Or the Phoenix Clan? What is, what's happening? We had only one solution ab available to us. Okay. The clan of the... Uh... Oh. The clan of the... The Q... 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 Had set up a camp not far from where we were. Okay. They understood the language of the animals and were close friends with them. Oh. Animals. 
when you face them in battle, you knew that the wildlife would be on their side. Okay, that's nice. That's choose a clan to con choose a clan to conquer. Well, we can't choose one. We can okay, we can only choose the Q the one I can't pronounce. Anyway, let's go for it. They were prime allies. Okay, we caught them off guard and beat them into submission. Wow. Yay, pillaging. With the warriors added to our ranks, we struck back against the trolls. Okay. Burium! My, you look like you came from the Star Wars. Oh, they're on the run. The trolls really can move. Oh yes, because they, they be quick. Uh, still, we'll have to pull back Alexandrite. He was correct. Okay. Uh, Virgo Island. Hey, Virgo Island. We were in the midst of a territory battle between the troll, the, the heel holder, and the Valkyrie. Okay. Uh, all three clans sought to claim these particular forests as their own. What's so great about them? Resource, I guess? The trolls had fled into these woods and we couldn't give chase without risking an encounter with the other two clans. Right. So we all at war with each other? <laughs> okay, it'll give our men a much needed break at, la at least. Okay. But who are we? That said, we'll have to decide our next move. I know we play a girl, but like, whose point of view are we in right now? Okay. The Holder and the Valkyrie. Yes. Hum hum. Let's see what the Phoenix had to say about them. Okay. Uh, the Holder were devious creatures according to the Phoenix. Okay. Well, you shouldn't believe in everybody's words, you know? They hid their wiles behind beautiful smiles when you find poise, their tongues cut sharper than any sword. Oh, but they are so very good looking. <laughs> oh no, they're hot! <laughs> Uh, the Phoenix didn't know the details of their natural-born ability, but for one reason or another, the Holder always seemed to know your deepest, darkest secrets. Ooh. Maybe they're, they're magical like that. On the other end, the back. Hey now! I wasn't finished reading! I guess the Valkyries were warrior-based people. Like, everybody can fight. Don't mess with them. Their warriorness had the strength of ten men and could sh- And could sh- And could, uh, sh Sharp bones like not they're like nothing. Yeah, sharp. Break. Um, I don't know. Shatter. I don't even know. They break bones is the is the the main idea. We have to make a decision, okay? The holder and the Valkyrie must already know we're here and no doubt see us as a new threat. Uh, we should send a few scouts ahead, okay? The Q the Q, oh, I can't pronounce that. Would it be ideal for this? The creatures can slip in undetected, and they know the island better than anyone else. Okay. Uh, but I don't know if we can trust them. They could easily turn against us. Yes, it's war. Anyone can back some anybody. It might be better to send one of our men. Okay. It would be. It would just be a greater loss if something were to happen to him. Uh, send out the QQ scout, or send out one of your own men. Oh no. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that, saved, that scared me. The save, save me, <laughs> save me. <laughs> anyway, that scared me. Uh, should we send out the scout, the Kukui scout? Or should we use one of our men? We risk being betrayed or we risk losing one of our own. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not a, I, I'm horrible at being a war strategist. This is why I don't, this is why I don't do it. Uh. Let's. Uh, are the Cucus are the are the people loyal to us then? I, I mean, no. and let's send one of our own men actually. Yeah. All right then, a safer choice. Yes. Let's be safe about it. We chose the warrior best suited for the task. Yes. At sunrise, he came hobbling back on one foot, but with information. At least he lived. <laughs> you lost a foot, but you lived, and that's what matters. He had discovered the Valkyrie, com the Valkyrie campsite and made a quick count of heads. Uh, he had an idea where the Holder campsite was, but he couldn't get close enough before springing one of their traps in the woods. <laughs> God damn it, you're not, you're not careful. Hence his missing limb. Wow. Jeez. The Holder is clearly the craftier of the two, just like the Phoenix said. Uh, it would be best to take them out first, but it will be significantly more dangerous since we have less information on them. We should hurry, I don't want the troll to have enough time to recover. Okay, if only these two clans weren't in our way. Okay, so... 
So are we the Vi clan who's in partners with the Phoenix clan who have conquered the Kukai clan and are now in an area where the Holder and the Valkyrie clans are but we don't want to fuck with them so we, we don't want to we don't want to get caught in between the both of them so we are our main enemy is the the Chold clan and so we're just trying to like I guess conquer territories and make alliances then should we just talk things out instead of just killing everybody <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I, I just that's just my opinion whatever oh well <laughs> oh what do you say we do it uh, what do you say we do it this way we send the Valkyrie into hold the territory uh, let them fight it out before we step in ourselves yeah that's a great idea that sounds like a plan. It was a fine plan. Yes, it was. Uh, we set fire to the woods near the Valkyrie's encampment and sent them running in the general v general vicinity of the of the Halder. Okay. The warriors uh, ran headlong into their traps first, which made them easy picking for my men. Okay. However, we were prevented from finishing them off entirely by the Holder and the Trolls. Ha! Oh, they were in league with one another. Ha! Huh, what do you know? They had advanced on us from the rear, however, it mainly consi of, consisted of the Trolls. So the Trolls got to the Holder clan first. Wow. Even without having a full count of the Holder's forces, I knew their clan couldn't be this small. Uh, they must have divided their warriors. The only question was... WHERE?! <laughs> I didn't have any reason to think one way or another, but I had a feeling they were on their way to our campsite. Uh, it was where the phoenix were. Okay. That's bad, right? They had to be protected, yes. Okay. Then there we go, they get the intro. Okay, so we were, I guess we were playing as a- This sounds very Star Wars-like. This sounds like freaking Phantom Menace kind of thing. Anyways, whatever. So we were just playing Isaac Almond skin like dew. Isaac can plunge you into the deepest avenues of desire. Skin that would shame the purest snow. Is that us? That must be us. <laughs> Black Queen. Is that like chapter one? Part one? Chapter one. Is anyone there? Uh, please, I need your help. Where the fuck? Please, please, please help, 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 help. Yeah, I'm here, bruh. Chill. I'm here. Calm down. Oh please, you must help me. Who the hell is talking? Depends on who it is. Calm down, I'm here. You must explain to me what's wrong. Why? You must explain to me what's wrong. What ails you? You you don't know. No, I don't. I'm kind of in the dark right now. Let me hear it in your own words. It will help you to hear it. Trust me. Um, let me hear it in your own words. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. I, I scarcely know where to begin, how to begin. Who are you? I, I am a grave robber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a thief of the dead. Yeah, I know what a grave robber is. It's just that, why are you here? Please believe me when I say that I have no, please believe me when I say that I never desired what was stolen and yet if found no wormed its way to me. So <laughs> you didn't unintentionally want to steal this, whatever it is that you're talking about. This thing that belonged in the breast of rot and decay was now in mine. In mine. Uh, perhaps I will sound as if I dare to justify this dreadful act. I know there is neither remedy I can find nor repayment I can make to right this wrong, but I speak only the truth. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. It refuses to leave me against my will. It adamantly refuses to return. Okay. <laughs> but even those words ring of self-defense self and acquittal that I do not deserve. Out of context, one can be forgiven for interpreting it as such, which leaves me with only one course of action. What? It happened on the night of the Halder's invasion. They had swept aside the men that the Vi had left to our defense. Uh, I think what happened next... Was what? Oh? I think what happened next would be best... Would best be described as being on trial with a jury of wolves. Uh-huh... Chief Wolf, the, tribun the tribunal has gathered here tonight because Miss Ambrosia of the Phoenix had decided to contest our decision. Okay, so this is this is us. Is this us? What? Okay. Uh, tell us, Miss Ambrosia, why shouldn't we eat you? I'm getting threatened by a pack of wolves. Okay, this is... Um, uh, because I do believe I would upset your stomachs. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to eat me. I'm uh, I'm awful. I taste awful. Anyways, as I was saying, I, I just wanted to jump back to my one thought before. I guess the prologue that we had with the whole war planning thing was just us as like 
a general, like, common warrior or some shit. I don't know. Anyways, we're just a person of war. No name, no nothing. So here, here's the main storyline, I guess. Our main heroine here. Uh, do you consider us as delicate as you? No, of course not! <laughs> ah, how scrumptious she looks. So soft and sweet like quick sponge sugar. Uh-huh. Like quick sponge sugar? What the fuck? He's like, what the fuck is that? Well, would you rather it was slow sponge sugar? <laughs> Ice sugar makes more sense if you ask me. Alright. Maybe the two of you have a sweet tooth, but I'd much rather smother her in spices. So oh, now they're discussing how to fucking eat us. Let's not wait, let's hurry and eat her now. No, 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 please wait. Haha, <laughs> hold on. Yes, Miss Ambrosia, what defense do you have now? Well, uh, if, if you eat me, I'm cursed. I will cast a horrible spell on you. Yes, go on. I will not be able to dance and tell stories for you or whatever should be your pleasure. But what if I don't care for a show or a bedtime story? Maybe I'd rather have a song. Sure, I'll sing for you. <laughs> then I will sing as well as I possibly can, right? Don't bother with that. We'll just make her sing as we drink her blood and feast on her flesh. Oh my gosh. Surely such a melody must be ghastly, right? I can sing you a lovely song, you know? I'm like the Mariah Carey of freaking the Phoenix Clan. Adele, you're you more of a Adele person, you know? Not at all. I'll make sure you... I'll make you all the sweeter to eat, my dear. No, no. I ain't no... I ain't no Red Riding Hood here. Ah! Surely how sure... Sure, surely how surely they would have pounced on me and torn the skin from my limbs, but then... Wait a minute. So the one... Hey, this sounds like the one who's talking right now is... No. Kind Wolf, would you mind? What? This poor treatment of a lady is making me sick. Oh. Well, aren't you pretty? Anyways, you could say that one of the wolves was a huntsman in disguise and he chased away the other wolves. Okay. A huntsman in... Okay. He took me under his wing and kept me safe until the Vi could seize victory from the jaws of the halter. Okay. The Vi had sprung some sort of surprise attack and caught the halter unexpectedly. Okay. Because I was going to say, like, the one who's talking right now sounds like the girl who was... Who's talking. Sounds like Ambrosia, was what I'm saying. Like, we're not... I don't know. I don't know who's who anymore. Their defeat came shortly afterwards, and I was soon able to meet with the one who rescued me again. See? Like, yeah, it sounds like Ambrosia. The one who's talking right now. He was known as Sir Arsenic. Such a curious name. One cannot help but wonder what he has done to earn it. Maybe set a lot of things on fire. Earn it? For that is the custom of Virgo Island. Isn't that the custom? <laughs> Indeed, here you are not born with your name, it is earned. Oh. Okay. For that reason, Sir Arsenic's name was truly a mystery. It seemed at odds with the man who had kept me from the wolves. I was interested in learning more about him, uh, certainly, but I did not have a choice to speak with him for long. Why not? I had only enough time to bind his wounds and tell th and the others before Vi ordered them back to war. Okay. There was another clan to bring order to. Uh, it felt as though the Vi... The Vi waged war on the rest of the island for centuries. In reality, I think it was only 60 or so moons. Okay? 60 or so moons. How long is that? I don't know. The All of these, like, his, like, freaking medieval talk is just... I'm not keeping up with it. <laughs> on the 20th of the... On the 20th day of the Chrome Moon, the Vi returned with men... With their men in their newest conquest. Okay? At this time, the Vi's reign extended over four clans. Okay. Uh, there was the Q Q. The, there was the the Q Q Q uh, camp men and women of honor who were friends with the creatures of the forest. Yes, we know that. Uh, the troll, the fierce clan of brawn and speed. Oh, so they managed to conquer them. All right. The Valkyrie, warriors of blood and passion. Uh, the Halder, who's uh, those who pride themselves on intellect and proper breeding. Okay, I'm guessing they're wolves. You know, and then there was my clan, we the Phoenix, the fifth one under the Vi's rule. Okay, so the Vi is like a general kind of, you know, army, whatever kingdom that rules under these clan, that rules over these clans, or conquered these clans. Yet perhaps it would be more accurate to say that we were the only clan to share their reign. Yes, because we were in allegiance with them, you know, beforehand. You know, we have history. But as days went by, they felt more and more like our conquerors. Yes. Oh no. I mean, no, yes. <laughs> yes, the feeling only grew as my kin and I tended to the wounded as healers. Okay. Rosemary! Lady Ambrosia! Yes! Ah, uh, Rosemary, this is far too much for a poor damsel like me to handle. Why? Do you not like blood? 
My dear sweet cousin, in those days, her presence always made everything brighter. An absolutely lovely person and friend we who always bore goodwill towards everyone. That's nice of you. You're so kind. I don't know why we have to be in charge of taking care of everyone, especially when some of these savages used to hunt us down. Okay. So we're getting more into the storyline that was promised in like, you know, the, the summary page of the actual game. Okay. At least usually. Okay. Uh, this is like being on diaper duty all day, every day. Ha ha ha, yeah. Except these are grown men and women and they're not as cute as babies, yes. Uh, well, okay, some of them, some of the men are pretty nice looking, right? <laughs> I feel, yeah, at least the ones who aren't being an enormous prick, right? You should hear what some of them call me, why? Want me to beat them up for you? Oh, I'm so mad, just so mad. Okay, you should just let their wounds fester and let life give them what they deserve, <laughs> okay? I feel you, girl, but like, we're gonna get in trouble for that. She was surely quite- she was surely under quite a bit of stress, so please don't think of her as overly harsh or at least a bit malicious. She's a kind person, truly, of course. I- I'm- I'm convinced. Ah, so I'm- okay, I'm pretty sure this is us. Ah, Lady Rosemary, it sounds like you went through a very- a very trying experience. Uh, oh, you don't know the half of it. Uh, can you please, please take care of them, Lady Ambrosia? Why are you putting it on me? I'll take whatever- I'll take over whatever you aren't doing, like the laundry or something. I'd rather the laundry than that, than your job. <laughs> oh, but she's so nice. She's like, by all means, rest and recover your breath, Lady Rosemary. Thank you, Lady Ambrosia. You're so kind. Make sure you don't go easy on any of them, okay? Sure. Uh, those were tragic times full of rending memories, but there were also beautiful ones. Beautiful ones, go on, let me hear about them. Uh, go on, let me hear beautiful ones. Yeah, let me hear about them. Lay it on me. My days back then were spent much in it. Ah, my days back then were spent much in this way. What? Tenth day of the wolf moon. Okay, go to the forest, go to the wounded. Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> Freaking hell. That like always scares me. Okay, go to the forest, go to the wounded. Ah, I'll just go to the wounded. Check check out what's all the fuss that Lady Rosemary's having problems with. As of the last campaign, there were very many to look after. In the early hours of dawn, some were still asleep, or rather, I should say, that those farthest from death's door were often the ones awake. Ah, uh, okay. Victor! Okay. An exceedingly good morning to you, Miss Ambrosia. Already my day feels brighter. Well, I'm so glad. <laughs> Okay, you seem as bright as the morning yourself, Sir, v Sir Victor. Uh, why, you must be expecting some very, some very fair news. Uh, indeed I am, fairest news from the fairest maiden. Why? <laughs> My, aren't you a sweet talker? So simply pronounce me sound of health and I shall be on my very merry way. You seem very healthy to me. <laughs> You have all the vigor of an excited horse, but you must slow down and let this turtle catch up with your rabbity pace, Sir Victor. Eh? I will touch your knee now. I'ma touch it. Bush! <laughs> Please let me know if you feel p any pain. Uh-huh, okay. I trust you haven't done anything too strenuous, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tell me how it feels when I press against your knee like this. Uh-huh, uh okay. <laughs> Sir Victor? Uh, oh, yes, Miss Ambrosia. Um... Am I- are you just charmed by me so instantly? It- it feels nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> I- I mean, um, it's, uh, yeah, I get it. Okay, I don't know. Oh, oh, god damn it. Please don't hide anything from me, Sir Victor. Uh, you know that everything said within its- within this tent is kept between us. Yeah, right? Wink, wink. Uh, of that, I have no doubt, but I would rather not keep it between us, these fo these flowered walls, or anybody else. What? Never mind the fact that some things are far too indecent for a lady's ears. Uh-huh. Indecent? What are you thinking? I'm just playing the doctor here. I am seriously concerned for your health. Haha, <laughs> yes, I'll take it to my graves unless I'm confident of receiving a happy response. And you will. I thought you were hoping I would I, pr I would pronounce you well so that you could go out your merry way. She's so freaking, like, naive. Huh? I'm well? Of course you are. You really mean that, Miss Ambrosia? Well, yeah, you, you do seem fine. You must slow down again, Sir Victor. I can never seem to keep up with your train of thought. Uh, before anything, you must tell me how it feels when I touch your knee like this. He said it feels nice. Please, be honest. 
Oh well, I suppose it still feels a little bit tender. I reckon it remembers the sting of an arrowhead that was stubbornly lodged in it. Nasty thing that. But it will surely become a distant memory soon. So you took an arrow to the knee is what you're telling me. Alright, now that was the answer I was hoping to hear. You're fine, big boy. <laughs> See, it would be quite strange for you to feel nothing, even more worrying if it was pleasant like you first told me. Because you touched- God damn it, girl. But I suspect, Sir Victor. Yes, Miss Ambrosia, you suspect? You suspect nothing. <laughs> I suspect everything. Alright, I dare say you are really quite ticklish. Ah, uh, ah, ha, ha, ticklish. Hmm, yes, ticklish. <laughs> I actually can't be sure. I've never really been tickled before. Well, unless you count the occasional shaft rearing its head out of uh, my bed and poking me, but it's more vicious than it is a good time. Uh, so I couldn't really tell you one way or the other. Alright, well, then you've never been properly tickled before. That's a true shame. I don't know if anyone's enjoyed being tickled. Uh, I don't. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to remedy that sometime with a tickling session. No, girl. It's a tickling session? Uh huh. Yes, please look forward to it. Girl, you a doctor. You ain't no tickle expert here. Anyways, what is this? Uh, tell him to rest his knee for one more day, or tell him that he seems fine but to check back with you later. You seem fine, big boy. Now then, I do believe we have reason to celebrate you are all but well. Yeah, ah, uh, and it's all thanks to you. Oh, you really are a dream come true, Miss Ambrosia. I know, right? Shall we celebrate with that tickling session you should- you mentioned then? Ugh, girl. <laughs> Not so fast, Sir Victor. Yeah, you only just recovered. Slow down. Oh, of course, of course. Tickling is much too bold. We have to take time and build up to that stage of intimacy. Uh-huh. I mean that we shouldn't celebrate too early, right? Carry on your day like usual, but come see me later. I would like to make sure that we aren't being too hasty. Uh, I will be more than happy to see you later, Miss Ambrosia, and we shall have to postpone our tickling celebration. Uh huh. Don't worry. Don't work your knee too hard now, Sir Victor. Yep. Don't uh. Don't take another arrow to a knee. After looking over each of the wounded, my kin usually return with an armful of baskets full of delicious things from the harvest. It looks like it's in the middle of dead winter. I don't know what you're talking about. Harvest. It was time to prepare breakfast. Okay. Hi, Rosemary. Mm, these tendrons are an eensy bit, eensy bit dry, but definitely edible. Uh, Lady Rosemary, you know we don't have that many to spare. Yeah. Aw, oh, Lady Ambrosia, I'm only nibbling on a little. You have to let me have a snack. You let her, you promise her a big dinner. Man, don't ruin your appetite, girl. Come now, Lady Ros Rosemary, I'll make it up to you at dinner. Really? You promise? Sure. Cross my heart and hope to die. Uh, Alright, I'm holding you to that. Don't think I won't. If there's no dessert, you better be dropping dead. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, dessert? Uh, yes, yes, dessert. What kind of heartless monster are you to, to deprive a lady of her fill of sugar? Aha, uh -huh, then dessert there shall be. <laughs> I'm gonna gotta look for that. that. Good. Uh, hee hee, I can hardly wait. Speaking of dinner, right. Uh, I thought we were speaking of dessert. Uh, dinner, dessert, lunch, breakfast, it all boils down to the same thing. Food. Good food. I don't see why we have to cook anything for these savages. It should be just for the Vi, our family. And that's it. Uh, let the animals fend for themselves. Girl, uh, I know you're frustrated with some of them, but give them time, Lady Rosemary, right? Since we're all living together, they'll grow. They'll, they'll grow used to you, and you'll grow used to them. Yes. Well, then we'll all be friends. Yeah, we'll all be one. Be one big happy family. I'll drop dead on the day that happens. Okay. Guess I'm not the only one who's gonna drop dead. Not all the wounded were able to leave their beds, so in the morning I would bring them breakfast once it was made ready. Uh, but for those who couldn't help themselves, it was not so simple. A warrior by nature is a prideful creature. Yes, indeed. I remember this one man, a member of the trolled. He had lost both his arms in battle. Damn, that sucks. Uh, I could not just feed him or he would feel his loss all the more keenly and surely take it as an insult. And so, do you know what I did? Blend it all and just give him a straw? You spoke charmingly to him, you made a game out of it. I spoke charmingly to him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You made a game out of it. I would like to challenge you to a game. I want to play a game. A game? Oh ho! What sort of game, little lady? Uh, bobbing for apples. Yes. Now, I know apples aren't in season, so I took the liberty of replacing them with other fruits. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not very good at this sort of game. I was actually hoping to learn from you. Uh, this way, I'll be prepared for surprises. I'll, I'll be prepared 
I'll be more prepared for surprise matches during celebrations. Well then, watch and learn. I'll make a master apple bobber out of you. Okay. So I made a game out of it. <laughs> Once everyone was happy and fed, I could begin my other work. Clean up dishes, take care of the wounded. Go to the forest. I think I took care of the wounded enough. Clean up the dishes then. I'll have to bring these to the river to wash them. Ambrosia! Oh, why? What? What's... What? There was a voice I hadn't heard in a while, not since the 14th day of the frosty moon. I guess winter. Frosty moon must be winter. Hello? On the night we were rescued, on the night of the Vi's victory, he came up to me and said... What? Okay? I'm sorry. Why? For From upon his knees, he just said those two words. Okay? Nothing more, nothing less. I'm sorry. For what? He had done nothing wrong and yet he had felt the need to apologize to me. On the seventh day of the wolf moon, he approached me and said... And said what? Ambrosia. Uh, Chase. Alright. Oh, Hello. Uh, I know you've been taking care of the warriors and Ur of the Valkyrie and that some of them have been a handful, yes. Uh, what do you say you let me stand guard for you? Uh, oh, I shouldn't be- I shouldn't like to trouble you, Sir Chase. It wouldn't be any trouble at all. Okay, besides, it'll make me feel better about what happened last time. It it'll be my way of making it up to you if you'll let me. But surely you realize you owe me nothing, right? We don't know what he apologized for. Well, then I owe it to myself. Uh, which sounds pretty selfish now that I'm saying it out loud. Uh, not that saying that I'll make that it'll make me feel better sounds any less selfish. Aw oh, man, yeah, you're, yeah. What I mean is that, uh, I get it. It's all, what do I mean? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What, what I'm trying to say is that I don't have anything better to do, so it's not a problem. Okay, if you don't got anything better to do, then by all means, do whatever you want. And some of the other guys are pretty dangerous, so you need a guard, right? Um, not that I'm saying you need to have it. Uh, but it'd be nice to have a backup plan just in case, right? I guess. And there is the added bonus of making me feel better. Okay. <laughs> you agreed to let him guard you, you didn't need a guard. Eh, fine, whatever. Do whatever you want. Alright, I suppose if it isn't any trouble, yeah. Believe me, it isn't. Okay, then I would appreciate your having your protection. Okay. I'm in your care, so Chase, please take care of me. Oh. Uh, oh, of course. I'll be, I'll be sure to protect you. Okay. You can count on me. Okay. It was nice seeing how happy and light his smile was. Yes. In truth, I did not seek his protection. I simply wished to ease the guilt that he felt he must bear for a crime he did not commit. Talk to Chase. Take care of the wounded. Um... I guess I'll talk to you. Maybe. Hold on. Uh... Um, uh, I don't know. I feel like I wanna, I wanna like do everything here. Is there an option to do everything here and then like go to the forest then? Because I would do that. Okay, let's just take care of the wounded. Oh, the Vi's war with the other clans had left my great aunt bereaved of her husband and son. I am so sorry, Auntie. There seemed to be nothing that could console her. Once she was heralded for her beautiful singing voice, now she would not speak. She would not even eat or drink if I did not bring what she needed to her lips. Uh, her compliance, the monotonous opening of her mouth, was the only sign that she still lived and held any awareness of the world around her. Man, that sucks. She spent her days with her gaze pinned to the spot directly in front of her. Futile though it may seem, I tried to remind her of the beauty of her, exi of her existence to wake her from the nightmare that held her within its shadows. You told her a story, you talked about what happened, you brought her flowers. You just... you told her a story. Back during the first territorial wars, there were two clans. I don't think she wants to hear more about the war, girl. <laughs> I mean, she just... she lost her husband and son in them. Being hunted to the brink of an annihilation, whose hatred for one another nearly destroyed them. I don't think this is a very good story to like tell her. I thought you were gonna tell her about the story of like, once upon a time there was a rabbit. I don't know. <laughs> um... Whose hatred for one another nearly destroyed them. The feud went back dozens of generations, and there seemed to be no end to the bloodshed. Then at, li then at last, the elders came together and sought resolution. They would wed the son and daughter of their respective chiefs, they made a pact to live on opposite sides of the island. Uh, they... made a pact. There. They would not see each other, and with time, they hoped their children's children would forget their grudge against one another. 
Uh, do you know what happened many years later? Ah, I'll have to tell you next time. That's... That story sucked. <laughs> Dust. Okay, let's talk to Chase. I will not blame you if you find my work boring. Don't let me keep you from your own responsibilities now. I love how sunny and warm it is today. Um... Yeah, don't... Yeah, don't blame me if my work is boring. I will not blame you if you find my work is boring. If I... If you find my work boring. Huh? Oh no, I know I don't think that. Uh, I've never seen a phoenix at work before, so I'm interested in seeing what you do. Okay, well, if <laughs> it ever loses its novelty, feel free to run along and play. Oh, only if you come with me. It's no fun playing on your own. Okay, bye then. I'm gonna go to the forest. What? Ah, please let me help you. Uh, who are you? Jasmine. Phew, thanks Lady Ambrosia, my arms are killing me. Okay, so we all seemed... Who, those who are from the Phoenix Clan seem to all be named after flowers. I'm aware of that, yes. I wish you I wish you could have been there at the harvest this morning. We really need your help. I'm sorry. Uh, forgive me, I should have been there. I know, you were seen to the wounded, right? Yep, I, I was. Which is important, just remember that they're strong warriors and warriorses. Uh, you don't need to baby any of them. Okay. Just set the basket down here. Okay. You're a real lifesaver, Lady Inversia. Uh, to have waited the basket with this much, it almost seems as though you were in a you were in a real rush. Not really, to be honest. I just didn't want to make a second trip to the forest. Yeah, I feel ya. Good thing I ran into you, right? But are you holding up all right? You kind of remind me of a leaf that's all about to be blown away by the wind. I just need to catch my breath, right? I, everyone just needs me all over the place. Uh -huh, I'm telling you, you should have asked one of the young men. I I do have one right here. <laughs> Uh, with that outfit, all you have to do is sway your hips, bat your lashes, and they'll come running. Hey now! What do you- what do you mean by that? Probably even trample over each other just for the opportunity. Hey now! <laughs> now I know you're making light of me. Uh, that outfit is. I generally don't know how you expect anyone to take you seriously in that. Uh, I, j I say this out of duty as a fellow phoenix and out of filial affection as your third cousin. Okay, more cousin. Third cousin. Save us a- Save it for summer, Lady Ambrosia, right? I thought we were in the dead of winter, girl. What are you wearing that for? Oh my god, now that I look at it, it's so skimpy. <laughs> oh my, there's a small hole worn into the ba into the corner of the basket. Uh, there is? Where? What if something rolled away? Oh, I'll probably have to comb the floor of the forest to find it. Don't worry, I got it, girl. I'll probably strain my back in the process, maybe brush past some poison, I poison ivy by accident. I'll retrace your steps, Lady Jasmine, yes. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. I'll lose my head if it weren't for you. Uh, and the hole at the bottom of the basket, what do we do about that? We're gonna have to patch it. I'll patch it up, I'll patch it up, ah, I'll patch it right up. You won't even know it's there. Uh, wonderful, I know you'll make the basket twice as strong. I'll try my best. Ah, my god, everyone's just so freaking, like, dependent on me. Okay, I'll fix the basket. I'll need some sap from the forest to patch this up. Oh, then to the forest we go! Oh hey, no one will attack me in the woods or chase. I feel like this is a nice day for apple cider. Smile at him. Yo, I want some apple cider. Yeah. I feel like this is a nice day for apple cider. Don't you think? It sure is. Yeah. You can have some what? You can have some later if you want. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to follow you out here. Nah, it's fine. I just thought. Uh, I just thought. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I guess I wasn't really thinking at all. Haha, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll head back. I wasn't trying to be a creep. I just wasn't thinking. Thought you had someone to cheat out here? Mm, why would I? No, I just wasn't thinking. I'll just... I think I'll just shut up now. Okay, yeah. You don't have to go. Hehe, <laughs> you're really cute. So Chase chuckles softly. I mean, you don't have to go. You don't have to go. Yeah. You're a wonderful company, so Chase. I'm usually quite alone out here, right? Oh, oh, really? Yes, really. Aren't there other phoenix around? Well, yeah, sure. They are, but we don't always run into each other, let alone have time to stop and chat, right? You're a good friend to have alongside me. Oh, of course. Uh, a good friend, right? Yes, a friend. <laughs> uh, well, I can stick around a little longer, uh, if you like. Yeah, sure. Please do. Uh, all well, alright then. I will. Go to the har harvest, go to the wounded, look for silkworm cocoons. Let's go look for the silkworms. Our clothes were made from the cocoons of silkworms. Makes sense, because they're silkworms and they spin silk. He said, yeah. But it was a brutal process. To withdraw the silk, we would have to drop the cocoons with the, with the insects still inside uh, into boiling water. But without them, we had little in the way of fabric. Right. We do have to do that. Or no. No? Is that how it works? Because I swear, like, 
when when the silkworm starts spinning their silk, like all you have to do is like, like, unwind. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I swear I like looked it up or like I read it somewhere and the process of how to like obtain the silk from the silkworm. But like I swear you don't kill them. The men of my clan were not hunters, and so we had no fur or scales with with which to adorn ourselves. Instead, we bear beautiful silks. Uh, corn, husk, and chaff would irritate our skin, which were especially, especially dry in the colder seasons. These would not only wither away, but attract insects. Silk was the best choice, but I didn't have the heart to act as their grim reaper. You gave the cocoons to the other women, you left the cocoons alone. Well, we gonna need the cocoons. We gonna need the silk. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, forgive me, dear little silkworms, but we gonna need your silk. <laughs> I felt like a willing accomplice to a terrible crime, but I could not stand to see my people freeze. Exactly. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, priorities. Uh, at midday, it was time to prepare lunch. Okay. Lady Ambrosia, here, fix this. Oh my god. Lady Rosemary broke the pots again. Oh my god, guys. I still haven't fixed the basket yet, and yet you're giving me plates now? Oh, pot. It's only one pot, and it's not like it's completely ruined. I just... It's uh, just a little chipped. Okay. More importantly, Lady Ambrosia, could you start on lunch? Oh my god, is no one doing work around this camp? Why am I doing all of it? Don't worry, we'll be right with you in a tick. Uh, the Holder are back from their hunt, how does my hair look? Great. Uh, your hair looks great. As polished as always, Lady Jasmine, like a gem. Uh, a gem, huh? Huh, it's, uh, it is like a gem, isn't it? Uh, it's expected of me, yes. Beautiful ruby gem. Okay, let's go. Oh, in the basket, you've already taken care of it. Uh, apparently I have. I thought I didn't. But okay. Not yet, but very soon. Okay, yeah, there we go. I figured. Don't wait too long. We'll need to use it soon. Uh, see you soon, Lady Ambrosia. Oh, yeah. I promise to make it up to you later. Okay. Oh, my god. Oh, but wait. You're seeing the holder. Ah. Uh, there they go. The other phoenix and I had seen to every men and women uh, who had yet been in battle, injured or not. Every warrior save for one. Sir Arsenic! Isn't that the guy who rescued us? However, I was determined not to let him escape. Right after lunch, that was. Upon my cousin's return. You asked whether Arsenic was there, you asked him how the holder was, you asked about Victor. Where is Sir Arsenic? We need to tend to everybody. Uh, welcome back, I trust the holder was were well. I don't suppose Sir Arsenic was there with them. Uh, maybe he was. If you wanted to know, you then you should have been there with us. Well, I got a lot of shit to do because some people just don't know how to get their shit together. This is rare. Why Why ever the sudden interest, Lady Ambrosia? Well, I gotta, I gotta check up on everybody, right? Why ever isn't a word, Lady Jasmine, right? Who says who? Uh, and unless you're a queen, you better not cite yourself as authority. But I could be a queen, couldn't I, Lady Ambrosia? Sure. Anything is possible, but... Yeah, ha, see? So I could be a queen. Anything encom anything encompasses a lot. You could also be a mud pie. Uh, or a magpie. You're already halfway there with the way you're always going on. <laughs> Take one to know Takes one to know one, doesn't it? Kettle calling the black... Kettle calling the pot black. Ugh, use one phrase or the other. Don't you just lump them all together like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't follow you. I'm ha I'll happily do whatever I want. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're such a child. Ah, uh, so, so then I take it that Sir Arsenic was there. Wasn't there? Was there? I assume. Oh, he was. Okay. Uh huh. He definitely was. Okay. That's good to hear. I I'm only asking because he hasn't been to any uh, of us yet. Yeah. We still need to look over his injuries. Uh, sure, that's the reason. Hey, Rosemary, hey now. Someone's in love. Hey, oh, please stop looking at me that way. You're leaping to conclusions. Uh, and while you're teasing me, the soup is boiling over. No, it isn't. You would never let the soup boil over. Unless you were, you know, too busy daydreaming or something. Excuse me, you can't just put... You can't just put this on me. I wasn't the one who was, like, so excited about seeing them when they first arrived. God. It's alright, we understand. Oh my god. Oh, you're a naughty girl after all. That, that, isn't, that isn't what's happening here. You're completely misunderstanding the situation. God damn, I'm just getting, trying to get my shit together and all y'all just be like, Oh, he's in love, you're in love. God, give me a break. As I served the wounded their meals, so Chase wasn't far. 
It was a curious thing. I didn't think he had to worry about warriors who couldn't even help themselves. But as it turned out, he had something he wanted to ask me. Okay. Uh, that was the last one, right? I guess. No, no, that one wasn't it. It's what he said next. Uh, if you haven't eaten yet, we could have lunch together if you want to, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> you agreed you were too busy. I am too busy! Honestly, though. I'm too busy. Oh, I wish I had time for a break, so Chase, it sounds absolutely lovely, but there's still so much left for me to do. Uh, but please, enjoy your lunch. <laughs> I know. Oh, alright. Yeah, then I'll see you around in Bergia. Yes. I have so much shit. Yes, please take care. Oh my god, clean up this town. I, I hate this. And I still- oh my god, I still have to find the sap for the- oh my god. I'm more so worried about like, getting my task completed rather than the romantic aspect of this game so far. <laughs> but anyway, so far... Harvest. Yes. Mmm, this should be just enough sap to fix the basket. Yes, got the sap. I'm glad winter is just about over. Okay, cool. Yoohoo, Ambrosia! Oh, where- yeah- oh hey! Hiya! Hiya, Brooks. What's up? Oh, good afternoon, Lady Brooks. I, I'm very busy. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, I guess. Uh, say, you, aren't you freezing your butt off in that? I know, right? I'm fine, Lady Brooks. If I wasn't, I wouldn't have worn it. Uh huh. Uh, well, I just wanted to say bye and thank you for taking care of my clan and me. Oh yeah, no problem. You've been a real pal to the Valkyrie Ambrosia, right? Isn't that what friends are for? Right? Ah, uh, sure, they sure are. Okay. Anywho, I'll have to make it up to you some other time. I'm meeting up with Wildfire right now. Okay. We're after a ruby-tailed badger, you see. Uh, see you, so see you around, Ambrosia. Okay. Everyone says that they, uh, they owe me back, but so far I haven't gotten anything. I wish you luck, Lady Brooks, and you and your friend. Better watch yourself. I, a troll's been eyeing you like a mighty fine treat around those tents you'd like hanging around. Hanging about. Oh. Oh, and don't forget to toss on something warm. I had to tell you, no boy is worth the goosebumps. I know! I, girl, I understand you completely. Like, winter fashion, I am not all about that. Like, I want to look good in winter, but I can't. Not in Canadian winter. Ah, that. Ah, that. That really isn't the case. But you're no longer here, so you can't hear me. Go to the ruin or go to the river. I'm not going to the river. Go for a swim. Harvest. I'm going to harvest. Uh, now that the river is no longer frozen, I could start collecting rocks, cattails, and all the other wonderful things that pr it provides. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna wash the dishes. Now I just need to wash the dishes used for lunch. Uh, go for a swim. No, no thank you. Not in this- not in this- oh shit! Not in this weather! Holy shit, Rosemary! <laughs> Don't do that! Lady Ambrosia! I wasn't nibbling on the harvest, definitely not. Girl... It is nearly did it is nearly dinner time, isn't it? We should probably start preparing it soon. Um, <laughs> right. Okay, go to the wounded, harvest alongside- I'm a harvest alongside you. Might as well. So that's it for the day, right? I guess. Then I'll be heading off now. You don't need me tomorrow, don't you? Uh, do you? I do, yeah. I believe you've known I felt this was un unnecessary, but I do appreciate the- Great, in that case, you should be glad I won't be there. What? Sir Chase, it almost sounds like you're upset. Yeah. Of course not. Why would I be? What? I just have things to do. The world doesn't surround you, you know? <laughs> What's with the change in attitude just because I turned you down for lunch? Like, honestly... I know, I wasn't trying to imply that. Anyway, we're done here. Ah, yes. Take care. Wow, take care, Sir Chase. Wow, what a bitch! <laughs> Before I knew it, Sir Chase was gone. As I puzzled over his sudden change in behavior, a familiar face drifted into view. Who? Indeed, it was the very man I had been searching for all afternoon. Is it... Sir Arsenic? But it was very strange. It seemed as though he was deep in thought. He kept walking one way first and then another, constantly turning around halfway to head in the opposite direction. So you're pacing. What ails you? He had his eyes on this pretty flower in his hand, and I wondered what it was that could inspire such heavy contemplation. Ooh, do you want to give it to a girl? Are you having love problems? I I'll see what he wants to do. I don't want to surprise him from behind because I feel like he might like punch my lights out because you know him being a warrior and all that reflex and shit. I'm gonna see. Perhaps I'll pretend I didn't see him. Maybe. And just as I begin to turn away, ah, Miss Ambrosia. Okay, so it's Sir Arsenic. What troubles you? I never, I never took for you to ha took for you as one to have love problems or something. Good evening, Sir Arsenic. I do hope I haven't disturbed you. Uh, it seemed as though you were in the midst of coming to a great decision. 
Ah. Oh, do I? A uh, great decision. Yes. Uh, yes, I don't suppose you were wondering whether a particular lady loves you. You mean she loves me, loves me not? That sort of thing? I guess. Now I'm, now, I'm curious whether you've ever used flowers for such a romantic purpose. I thought, okay, maybe you're just wondering what this this flower can do as an herb, maybe. Huh. Perhaps. I don't know. Perhaps it's a secret. Uh, but I may be, but I may be persuaded to confide in you if you'll tell me who is the fortunate recipient of that flower. Miss Ambrosia. Oh, forgive me, but give me more time to build up the courage to tell you. Oh, okay. Uh, it it can be for no one else, but right at this moment, I feel that if I tell you, you will surely laugh, Miss Ambrosia, and I will never be able to show my face in front of you again. Is it me? Is the flower for me? Is that why? Is that why? I can't think of no response you could give that would. That would cause me to be so cruel. Right? I'm not gonna laugh at you! Yes, I do believe I will take my answer to my dying bed. Why? Oh, so Victor said a similar thing before. Yes. Really, it's no good to think about welcoming death with so many untold secrets, right? Victor said nearly the same. Victor said nearly, yeah, nearly the same. He's coughing me again. Maybe you're... Aren't you guys related? You look like you could be related. <laughs> so Arsenic, I didn't quite catch that. Oh, it's nothing really, Miss Arborgia, just my own personal quarrel. Alright, regardless, if you will take your secret to your dying bed, then so shall I. And Miss Arborgia, okay. Oh, now that's hardly fair. I don't know, it seems like a perfectly reasonable exchange. Whenever you open your heart to me, I will give you mine. Mine, not just mine. Uh, you, hold the key, you hold the key to unlocking my secrets. Do you now? That is rather difficult offer to refuse. If you feel that way, then please resist no longer, Sarsen. Yes, tell me all your secrets. Really, I will not ri ridicule you, Sarsenic, even if you meant to present your flower to a duck or a tree. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not like that. And you can be rest assured that I will safeguard the secret of your heart. Yes, a duck or a tree. Uh, it would be better for you to think it were indeed for a tree. For now, let that be my response. Uh, mm, I do believe it will adorn her leaves well. As I, as do I. Oh, is this like a roundabout way of saying it's me? Or like, uh, I can't, actually it can be anyone at this point. Because we're all named after a flower. And like flowers and trees, they're, they're kind of the same thing, yeah? Yeah. As he spoke, he did a very curious thing. He began to run his thumb back and forth across the stalk, rolling it back and forth. Rolling it forward and back. A very acid mind and gesture. Okay. You offered to tell him your answer he came in for his examination. You asked why he hadn't checked in with you. I'll... Yeah, I'll... Yeah. Him, if there is one other way to persuade me to tell you my answer, something else I would like beside the identity of your tree. <laughs> that is, if you would still like to know. I still don't know what kind of secret I'm holding from him. Like, I totally missed it. You know it will be tr You know it to be true. Please tell me. Uh, walk with me this way. Yes, come. To a healer's tent? Yes, to a healer's tent. Miss Ambrosia, let me know. Let me not waste your time. I am unharmed. Uh, then your inspection will be over in a, will be over in a few, in eh, will be over in but a few moments. Please don't fight me, Sir Arsenic. Yeah, don't fight me, or I will fight you. I never wish to cause you trouble, Miss Ambrosia. However, I am not free for the evening. Ah, well, in that case, please tell, please see me tomorrow morning. When the hunt is in, in session, it is impossible. Ugh. After the hunt? <laughs> Afterwards, there is plenty of post work tidying things up and, prepar and preparations to make for the next. <laughs> also, I will need to fetch you a spare cloak. I can see you've, you've lent all your winter garments to the wounded again if I'm not being too presumptuous. Uh, ah, no, you are right. As a matter of fact, I allow me to bring you one now rather than wait for tomorrow. Okay. You don't have time to come into the medical tent for a quick checkup, but you have enough time to go grab me a fucking cloak. All right, Sir Arsenic. Uh, oh no, Sir Arsenic, I couldn't possibly trouble anyone in this weather, right? I'm, I'm totally fine. <laughs> Besides, I feel fine. I was actually quite proud of having found a practical use for these ribbons. They're not only pretty, but warm. Girl, you're only wearing a fucking ribbon on you? What is this? This is not practical winter wear. <laughs> I believe several of my relatives have a few things that aren't being used right now. Please allow me to fetch them for you. Uh, oh well, if you do have anything to spare, I think my elders would certainly appreciate it. Uh, this cold weather is harder on, on them than they care to admit. 
They aren't the only ones. Uh, I'll gather everything I can and have it ready for you by tomorrow, Miss Ambrosia. Okay. Alright, wonderful. I'll be waiting to see you tomorrow then. You better. God damn it. Fucking come by my tent or else. Please don't disappoint. I wouldn't dream of it. I wish you a warm and pleasant evening, Miss Ambrosia. Okay. Don't let me keep you from the safety and comfort of your home for long. Okay. That evening, I prepared dinner for Lady Rosemary and myself as usual. I can't tell you how much I was looking forward to all this scrumptious food, okay? I can't wait for dessert. Do we even have dessert? You made good on your promise, right? I definitely need the sugar. Well, you're holding a fucking tangerine. I don't know what more you want. <laughs> Today was a complete nightmare. I'm exhausted. Can you believe we have to do this again tomorrow? Girl, you put half of your task onto me. God. Their wounds will heal in time, Lady Rosemary. By then, perhaps we will have many... We have made many new friends. Piff, sure we will. That's what you always say. But maybe a new bow is in the future. Yeah, you go. You keep hoping, girl. Is there is there already someone? Right? Maybe. Maybe. Come on, spill it. Tell me. Tell me all about it, girl. Uh, how about you, Lady Ambrosia? Has any dashing warrior caught your eye? Uh, like maybe a certain blonde? <laughs> yeah. You you get me, Rosemary. You don't get me. This is why you're my favorite cousin. <laughs> you felt embarrassed. You acted like you didn't know what she meant. You denied it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. N all the all the answers feel like they're like the same thing. <laughs> you felt embarrassed. Please stop teasing me, Lady Rosemary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, don't worry, since it's you, I know there isn't anything there. Hey now, you awfully choosy, Lady Ambrosia. I don't think you've ever been in love your whole life. <laughs> hey now, it's just that I have a really high standard for myself, okay? I, I know what I want, you know, nothing but the best for myself. Its arrows simply ha its arrows simply haven't struck me yet, but one day I'm sure it will, it will and it will be a wonderful feeling. Of course, yes. The best. Alright, and speaking of love, right, okay, what do you want? Did you see the fruit trees by the sweet peas? They're plump and ready for the picking. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I can hardly wait for the har harvest tomorrow. I want the very best, you hear me? When you're plucking them from the trees tomorrow, you have to bring back the finest, juiciest, tastiest ones for the bunch. Yes, I will. I will, Rosemary. You got it, Rosemary. I don't want to hear anything about you saving them for someone else with a fruit craving. Yes, yes. You have to think about us too, okay? And all the fruit tarts and cakes we could be having. I understand, Lady Rosemary. I get you. You sure? Because you're smiling all calmly like you always do. I know what that means. What? When you start feeling pity urges, don't give in. Fight it. Focus on the tarts. Focus on the cakes. <laughs> Why are you chuckling, Lady Ambrosia? This is no laughing matter. Focus. <laughs> oh, Lady Rosemary. You're so funny. <laughs> she always... She was always such a vibrant person. Sometimes I wish I could be like that as well. You asked whether she was looking forward to spring. You talked about your problem with arsenic. Let's gossip. <laughs> I wonder what I should do about Sir Arsenic. Sir Arsenic? Yeah. He's like pacing about... Uh, do you mean his kissable lips? <laughs> okay, besides that. Ah, no, no, no. That wasn't what I meant. Do you mean his shiny blonde hair that you just want to run your hands through? I... Girl! <laughs> That's not... His deep blue eyes that you could just fall right into? <laughs> Lady Rosemary, please, <laughs> please, please. The answer is simple. You just take him and plant one right on him. Okay, I will. I'll keep that in mind in the future. Oh wait, that's not very ladylike. I don't give a shit. I'd do it. Shame on you, Lady Ambrosia. Hey now! How's this? Th don't turn this on me. I thought you were in this together. Uh, my... Yeah. Eh? Okay, you flutter your lashes at him and just wait for him to plant one on you. Sure. If he starts developing cold feet, oh, who am I kidding? This is so arsenic. I'm a mature gentleman like that knows how to take the reins. Okay, hee 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 hee. Um, I was only wondering how to bring him in for an expe for an an inspection. If you get my drift. No, I'm kidding. He's surprisingly resistant. Oh, just do what I told you. Okay, flutter your lashes and make kissy faces. <laughs> I'm sure that might work. Uh, I don't know if that will be help. That will be so helpful, but I appreciate the suggestion. 
By the way, Lady Jasmine was wondering whether you finished fixing the fixing up the basket. I actually did, yes! I'll take care of it tonight. Well, I got the sap for it, okay. The dishes too? I did that! I definitely did that. I, I most certainly will. Try not to take so long next time. We were quieting in clothes today at dinner. Oh, and I noticed you talking to Sir Arsenic in front of the tent earlier. Yes. He's handsome, no doubt. All the Holder men are, but and don't but don't forget, that's what he is. Okay. Uh, you've heard the same talk I did, haven't you? Nope. They're only gentlemen during the day. So be careful. Really? Especially of Sir Arsenic. Okay. He's surely named after poison for a reason. Beware of him. Oh! Arsenic! Haha! <laughs> arsenic. Yeah. There. Yeah, okay, I get it. Is it the same? I swear it's the same, like, if you... If you, um... Set fire to shit and stuff, then you're an arse- You're an arse- Arson? Arsenic? And then there's arsenic the poison- Okay. Okay. Whatever. Same shit. I get your drift, Rosemary. I got it. Most of all, never ever visit him at night. Ooh, are they werewolves or some shit like that? Is that it? Uh, Lady Rosemary surely possessed a kind heart, but she needn't have given me such a warning. Why? I had already I had already seen the side they showed in the dark. Okay. I had already known what face they hid behind a gentleman's smile. What? Is that it? Oh, it's just a, a cut. Okay, 11th day. Anyways, you guys, we went through a full day. I feel like I can end this episode here. And this is just the beginnings of the this demo Let's Play. And since the... Yeah, game page has already, you know, informed us that it'll be like one to two hours of gameplay. I'm sure we might be able to finish it by the next episode. If not also as well, I might include some other, like, I guess, choices and shit like that. But anyways, as for now, I will end this episode here and we can continue on this, you know, little conquest of ours. And, you know, discovering you know, what kind of game this is. Because so far, so far, I think it's... It's a little slow in story, but I guess it, it, it's to be expected since it's so heavily story driven, then it's, it needs to be like at a good pace. So yeah, uh, sorry if it's a little slow pace, especially if it's for a demo. But anyways, I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll pick up at some point. It'll leave us at a, like a really great cliffhanger or some shit. Oh anyways, at least that's what I'm hoping. But yeah, so anyways, tune in next time and we're gonna see more of this game. And so yeah, until then, bye!